Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Thanks for joining me tonight, you guys. Sounds like a good night to paint. So, here we go. Super Uber Fluid Pour. I think we're gonna do a puddle pour. We're gonna try to achieve that lacy look. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go for it, guys. So my paint, my, my base paint tonight is half and half Artist's Flow Acrylic, Artist's Law Flow Acrylic and Beauty Tone House Paint. Um, I was using all the Flow Acrylic and I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. It works for most, but for some reason I struggle with it and I really, really like my house paint. So I went back to the house paint recipe that I always use. And it just seems to work. So we're going to go with that tonight. And as you can see, it's really, really fluid. So this type of pour is not any different than any other pour, guys. Consistency is absolutely key. And I, unfortunately, I don't measure anything. I just do it by eye. And it's really stupid because... I can't tell you how many times I've mixed paint that wasn't right and I keep saying that I'm just gonna measure it and then we'll all know and it's hard to measure which and this is gonna sound stupid too because I try it on a test tile so I'll do a cup of this with a cup of that plus half a cup of this and then I plop it on my test tile and if it doesn't work then I add but as soon as I add then the ratios are no longer correct so that's what happened earlier. I did a piece, I hated it, I scraped. Um, but by the time I was able to say, okay, it was this and that, it, it was so incorrect because I, like I said, I added all sorts of different things to make it work. So, I'm still kind of trying to figure out what's the best way to put down my measurements so that they are accurate and I'm not misleading anybody. So I'm not uh, I'm not trying to sort of be misleading, guys. Don't think that. It's just, that's why. That is why. But eventually, oh goodness, I will get to where I know exactly what works for me. Oh, look at that fun stuff going on. All right. So let's tilt this and tip it and move it about. And hopefully we get some nice cells nice lacing we're going to tilt it that way and then we're going to bring it all the way back i apologize if i'm not in frame guys i have a small small house and i get all excited about the paint and i forget that i'm actually filming and i should be on frame way down and maybe take it back to the middle a little bit and then we're just going to keep going you guys we are going to stretch 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 we're going to tip it back try not to flop it with such aggression I'm just going to let this completely go off this edge. Just like that. You're all thinking, oh my god, she's going mad. Maybe, maybe I have gone mad, you guys. You never know. All right, let's do something with this. Take my hands. Let's give it a little bit of fire. Oh, 
Oh, goodness. All right. Oh, this might be weird. All right, my friends, let's just do this. Let's just dump some paint on this piece and see what happens. Guess what color, you guys? Lime. I finally got my lime back. I'm so excited. It's going to be amazing just for the simple fact that this color is involved. So you can't paint with me if you don't like lime, you guys. That's my rule. I think it's the best color ever. Okay. A little bit of gold. I might just pour this too. I don't like pouring paint, you know that. I always pour too much. And then I just get these big yucky puddles. But tonight, we're going to just walk on the wild side, you guys, and pour our paint on. What a ballsy move. going here. This is a little bit of milk paint. Har Harbor Mist it's called. Milk paint. I had to order it from Amazon. Um, we are completely out of almost everything here in Victoria. It's like there was nothing. Michael's is completely void of things and I try not to go to the art store because it's like being a kid in the candy store I just I go in for one color of paint and I come out like a hundred and some odd dollars later going oh my god did I really spend that much money so I try to avoid opus although opus has got amazing beautiful things I must my palette knife okay here we go, you guys. Let's just go in and let's make a few little lines. Lines to the right, lines to the left. We're just going to kind of add some interest and some little details. So you can see how this changes. It changes a lot. So sometimes when I post things one day, everybody's like, oh, that, is that the same piece? And it's like, yeah, it is the same piece, but piece. But especially when you add the satin enamel or the milk paint, it, it definitely, it has a mind of its own. And you kind of have to sometimes err on the side of caution with it because it, it can really take over. me of these funky tree swipes that I see everybody do. needs something. I'm just not sure what it needs. It needs more contrast down here somewhere, I think. So let's add some really, really thin umber. Not, it's not going to be much contrast, but it, I'm just going to add another color into this, I think. That's all.
this is I'm not sorry guys I'm I'm really bad for getting into things and not talking um this is the same thing this is just artist loft raw umber mixed with Floetrol and water nothing special in any of these colors just Floetrol Yes, let's. Not even a full statement, but let's. Let's maybe do a bit of swipes. Let's maybe do some swipes, you guys. I'm going to swipe in black, I believe. And the swiping mix is, the black cell mix is exactly the same as I do for the bloom pores. So we're just going to go in and sort of here, there, random, and just add a little bit of swiping. And that will hopefully add a little bit of black, which will give us some contrast in, piece, in bits and pieces. some little details here and there. Go right down the middle, you guys. Right. So a lot of the black that goes in, unfortunately, it doesn't stay. It just kind of sinks into the paint. It leaves these beautiful cells and details but the, the concentrated black goes there sometimes I wish it would stay and I tried to make my cell mixes a little bit thicker for the swiping and I don't know it doesn't seem to make a lot of difference something in here. I'm not super happy with all that white, but well, let's try it. No harm in trying, guys. It's only paint. We don't like it. Well, you know what? We scrape it and we go have a muffin or something for supper because I have it cooked and call it a day. My swiping technique leaves a lot to be desired. I know that, you guys. I have no experience whatsoever with swiping. So, when you're watching me thinking, oh my god, what's she doing? I don't know. I don't know is the answer. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing with paint. And hopefully something nice happens. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. That's just the way it goes. You guys can do this. I can do it. You can do it. Oh, goodness.
Okay, guys. So, <laughs> this might be a little bit complicated, and I'm going to end this here. I might carry on and just fart around with this piece a little bit more, but you guys get the general idea. You know what? Consistency, 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 consistency. That is what makes or breaks this. Um, yeah, you guys can all do this. You know what? If I can do it, you can do it. I have faith in all of you. I've seen some pretty cool pieces coming out in the group with the modified blooms. And you know what? You guys all should be proud of yourself. So this is just something new that we need to move on to do. And we can all do it together. So I'm going to bring you down, you guys. I'm going to have a look. I am going to continue to maybe fart around a little bit with this. Maybe add a little more things. And that's it. Here we go. Little bump, you guys. Here we go. Look at this. This is pretty fun, I think. Let's go down and we can take a look at some of these funky little areas. I apologize in advance for the glare. But it's as simple as that, you guys. So I shall post the still shot on the Facebook group. I will upload this to YouTube. I will remind everybody that it is only paint. We can all do this. We can do it together. We can learn. Techniques are learned, you guys. You know what? Thank you, everybody, for your continued support. It is very humbling, and I am so grateful, so grateful to have everybody that has liked what I do or support me or helped me or encouraged me. You guys are awesome. Awesome. Thank you so, so very much. All right, my friends, poor happy. Stay safe. We'll talk really, really soon. Bye for now.